just met a jogger who told me there are no cows I can get across rather than go all the way around which is a huge loop I can go straight across to the village he said there were no cows now last time I came here there were cows you couldn't see them but he said there weren't any so I'm going to believe him the worst thing I've got to do now is cross a railway line So there we are, going up the knoll. There's some cows in the field here. Some people don't notice there could be cows sh shading. Do you know what I mean? If you're running, you might not be looking like me. I, me, I'm looking around, see? I'm looking around. It seems, it does seem more like four years ago I'd done this, but something says no, you did it in 2000 and 2016, did I? God, the time goes so fast. It's possible. What I have to do is look it up. I'll have to look it up to see. So in a minute, folks, I'll be coming to a railway line and it's a very busy main railway line okay and uh, so we're leaving Burnham with the white lighthouse over there just zoom in again just one more time just coming up this track met a very hot jogger some people like think they lose more weight if they run in the heat. You lose water. <sighs> you probably do use a bit of. Um, but like you apparently, if if you took up jogging, you lose most of your weight in the first six months. Then it stabilizes, and then you just gotta keep on going and you do I mean I got down to eight and a half stone when I was running marathons I'm more like 12 stone now you know I'm three and a half stone really or at least three stone overweight according to the figures but uh, I, I see it as my titanic ring I see it as my winter fuel if there's a start if I've got to be starved me supplies me winter fuel wrap round me right this is Sheila I've got my top on my head to try and protect me a little bit as I'm walking towards Brent Knoll and the railway like and I heard the sound of a train then I heard it's going here he comes, it's coming. There's one going to come by. I'm not going to get too close when it comes by. I should come back down here. Yeah. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's one coming. Let's get back. I'm going to get right back. There's a train coming. That was good to get that on camera, wasn't it? There could be one coming the other way as well, but at least they blow their horn. There it is, right up there, look. Going to Weston. Because people do get killed on these sort of uh, tracks, you see. There it is. Nearly catching it up with me. And I've got across this small line. I can't see anything coming. I'm looking both ways. Looking both ways. Still haven't done me lace up. That goes to Weston. That goes to Highbridge. Is the next stop along that line there. Yeah, 
He said follow the path. Now once I came here there were cows everywhere. He said follow the path. <gasps> there were cows, look. There's cows there, look. I wonder whereabouts I have to go, it says follow the path. There's cows there. Right, let's risk it then. He said there were no cows. What a lawyer. Bloody great herd. Oh, there's a heron. Another train. They run frequently here. He said follow the path. We would have passed those cows if we'd seen them, wouldn't we? Been dead still. <sighs> there was a way in over there. What fancy lying to me about those cows? Couldn't have put me in danger. Over and out. Carrying on in this field. Train went by a minute ago. I caught on video. Um, cows are up round that corner there in the shade, but they have been along here. There's very, very fresh cow pack everywhere. Look how fresh that is. That's been made not long ago. He said go through. I think he said two gates. Look, they've definitely been here. Last time, where that farmer is over there, I went, there was another lot I went, I could have got through, but that was filled with cows. So this could be dodgy, because imagine I can't get through here and I have to go back and they start moving. You know? Sorry, it's the old Sheila thing with the cows in the summer. Yeah, it's nice to explore though, I'm doing a different walk. What it is, I'm coming out, there was no point in me thinking about going to the pub now because that's that side. I'm actually going to come out, I could be coming out closer, could be better this way, closer to the church. Finding a new way through because uh, the other route takes you out by the red cow. You see? Take you out by the red cow. Oh, another train. Cool, they're coming frequent, isn't they? Every sort of five, ten minutes. Follow the path. Good job he came along really, wasn't it? Because I I probably would have gone back after seeing them and been worried about coming this way. <sighs> Alright, let me just put that on there a minute while I do my lace up. This is Sheila. 
The lace has been undone for ages. There's a nice breeze. It is a hot day, it's supposed to reach 29 by this afternoon, but hopefully, well, we'll be climbing up the knoll in 29 degrees. Can't see any cows here and no fresh pack. Yeah, the other route came out by the red cow, so this is, at the moment, it is a cow route still. To be quite honest, it is still a cow route. Just finding how to get out, isn't it? You know what I mean? Just finding how to get out. I mean, this is a well-worn path here. I can see the church. I think that's the church. Let's have a look. I'll be coming up closer to the church, really, and, and the knoll. There's the church, look. So we're heading towards the church. We just don't have to walk through the village, which is probably all right now. I'm sure he said two gates. I wonder if you can get out over there, have a look. There's a gate there. Right. There's a gate there, there's a ditch there. There's another gate here though. There's probably a variety of ways you can get out. It's always a bit worrying when you do something for the first time and you're not sure. It's always a bit worrying because I mean imagine if there was a quick way there I could get in and then where's this taking me see there's a, there's a gate over there and another gate down there what's that white though what's that white I'm going to go over and have a look There's a road there. I reckon you can get in over there. Might not need to go this way. I think it goes through several gates. There's the church. There's Brent Knoll. The trick point right up on the top there. I'll be out there in an hour or so. Could be two hours. I ain't rushing. Following this track. So, what you've always got to remember, the chance of cows is quite big, really. <sighs> Going that way, to be quite honest, it is. But this is another way. And I know there is. I didn't know about this route. And I still haven't got there yet, so... Um, we still don't know yet where we are. There's a car there, so there must be a road somewhere. It is nice exploring, but like I said, it's always a little bit worrying when you don't know where you're going. Such. I know this is uh, a different way. If you wanted to go to the Red Cow, you wouldn't come this way because you'd have to walk all the way through the village. Whereas if you went the other way, you'd get to it quicker. But I haven't planned to do the Red Cow, so... I had thought of it once, having a shandy. But I think, nah, I don't want that swimming around. I've got to climb hill. Yeah, there's been nowhere to across the rain, so I presume this is the way. <sighs> oh. Maybe that's 
this car. Oh, that's a nice view, isn't it? Nice view. Lovely summer's day, 23rd of July. Off a bit. Oh, 